okay. You can stop worrying now. Was I worrying? Of course you were. I haven't been texting you. Oh, that's right. That's supposed to worry me. Got it. It's okay. You can stop pretending now. I know what's really going on. Okay, well, you'll have to fill me in because I'm a little lost. It was a really good job. I mean, nice teamwork. And I do have to say that it did hurt a little bit when I thought that you might actually be interested in Abby. It's a good thing that I didn't overreact and do anything stupid. I just followed my brother and Abby back to their tacky little apartment off Baker Street, and it didn't take too much spine to figure out that they are still together as they've ever been. Which means that you only pretended to be with Abby to push me away. Which basically proves how much you really want to be with me. Look, I hate that you're caught up in the middle of this, okay? I know how much you love Michael, and I know you don't want to see him get hurt. But honestly, Abby's only with Michael for the money. You know, she quit dancing, she has no way to support herself, so she hooked up with Michael to carry you to the next thing, which is her job at ELQ. Nice try. No, I'm serious. I Abby knows if she broke up with Michael right now, she'd lose her job. She knows Michael's too young for her. And truthfully, we've been, <laughs> we've been hooking up for a while now behind Michael's back. Please. I'm really supposed to believe that Abby's your booty call behind Michael's back. Well, it's, it's a little more than that. Okay, I mean, Abby and I go way back, you know? We have this, <laughs> this understanding with each other, and she's exactly what I need right now to help me get over my, uh, you know, she's, she's hot, she's kind of crazy, and she doesn't want any emotional attachment. You know, I mean, I hate to be so blunt about this, but I just don't want to see you get hurt. You're good, I'll give you that. If you were trying to convince anyone besides me, your story would probably work. But the problem is, I know you too well. And the more you try to sell it, the less I'll believe it's true. So you'll accept no version of reality that doesn't suit you? I know you care about me, Ethan. And I know that you're fighting it right now. But at some point, you'll give in to the inevitable.